Hey guys, it's Lisa. Welcome to Banning, Panning and Beyond and the April installment of the Pan That Sign collab that I'm doing with Andrea from Pretty as a Peacock. So um, I will pop the colour story for Aries, um, which is the star sign uh, that they are using for April. Um, I'll pop that up on the screen and uh, we'll hold up the palette that um, Andrea and I created. So here it is here um, on my Instagram, which you can find the link in my description box. I've actually got photos of this and the brand names and the shade names on there. So I'm not going to um, worry about uh, listing that um, in my description box. So if you're interested, you can go to my Instagram or if you don't have Instagram and you are interested in any of the particular shades, you can always ask me in the comments and um, yeah, and then I'll get back to you and let you know what's what so um so the whole thing behind this palette is that andrea and i decided uh this month we definitely would build a palette where all the um shades we had in common um uh, with our collections so if I've explained that correctly. So um, we had heaps of yellows and oranges to choose from. And we obviously wanted to try and get a little bit of variation in regards to um, mattes, shimmers, metallics, and uh, different color depths. Uh, now there was meant to be like more of a maroon, as you'll see from the insert, um, more like maroon and then more of a fiery red. But because we were limited to what we both had in our collections, um, this is all we could come up with. So this shade here um, actually swatches more red than what it looks. Uh, this is a multi-chrome um from cleona cosmetics and this is another color pop one now we decided to pop this in just so we would have a deepening shade it is definitely more brown um than red uh i think it's actually described as a reddish brown so you know we're not really cheating um but anyway this is what we have to work with and um andrew suggested that we use all nine shades uh in our look so just to clarify, I checked with her that she didn't mean all nine shades on our eyes. Um, and yeah, she said that was fine. So just like we, we do with our eight color collab, where we can use some of the shades on our face, um, we are doing the same for this one. So I am going to try to use one shade for blush, one shade for highlighter. And then if I end up using those shades on my eyes as well, that's great. So it, that way, seven shades on my eyes doesn't feel quite so bad because, you know, I already do eight in the eight color collab um, series anyway. So yeah, uh, I don't think I really have much more to say. Um, I will make sure that I do link um, Casey um, from Casey has a pin, a, a pin, Talk about tongue twister. Casey has opinions and terrible video skills. And I know Casey always says she wants to change her channel name and I hope she doesn't. Uh, but Casey and Nadia are participating um, in this challenge as well, just on YouTube. And uh, she's already put her video up. So I'll make sure I link that as well as Andrea's in the description box. So you can go check out uh, both of uh, their videos as well. So um, just to quote uh, Kimmy, without further ado, let's get into the look. So I will probably end up speeding through uh, some of this, but I think just to um, start off with, um, and thanks to Laurie Latimer and Marilee from Marilee um, Does Makeup, I have some clean face brushes because I've been getting breakouts a lot. Um, obviously can't see them as much at the moment because I've got foundation on, um, but uh, yeah, I think it was actually Marilee that's, um, or maybe both of them mentioned, you know, if you're getting breakouts to clean your brushes. So uh, that's what I did. So I am thinking, um, I probably sh should have swatched uh, these, but swatches are on my Instagram as well, if you want to go check those out. But as far as a blush, really don't think yellow is going to quite cut it. So probably it'd be, have to be one of these. And this might be just that little bit too deep. So I will... Ooh, swatch those. Both are quite um, deep colours. So that is going to be way, way too strong for me. Uh, so I do have some makeup wipes um, here. So I think I'm just going to tap very, very lightly um, in to the orange and um, see how we go. So that's it on my brush. Just tap a little bit onto my 
uh, hair back of my hand because I am not one for strong blush at all. I like to uh, build up and then generally what I'll do is if I find well, now this cheek is darker than this one um, but I find yeah if I don't um, have it dark enough after I've done my eyes I will then sort of go over and top it up a little bit better so yeah that's not blending in super well but you know once I've got the eye look on it'll probably be fine okay so that means that that orange is now out and I did actually want to use that on my eyes so I probably will end up doubling up on that one now for highlight i'm thinking that i'll probably use this enchanted luster cosmetics shade uh, that is called iced lemon so i'm thinking i'm going to use that for my highlighter so just grab my highlighter brush i don't know how well this brush is actually going to pick up <laughs> quite pigmented it's very yellow so i'm going to have to tap that off and let's see how that goes on Oh yeah that's going on subtly enough so dip back into that one and tap it off again so this is a duochrome shade all right so those two shades down and i have these shades to go uh now this one in the center might not look it but it is very 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 metallic so oh, that is very strong so probably not really a good transition shade so anyway i will work it out i'm going to speed through uh, the footage and um while well, i do my look and uh, yeah i'll come back and i'll see you all at the end of it okay so before i get into the eye look um, I decided to just quickly swatch uh, the shades that I have left to work with so um, that's what I've um, got now this uh, multi-chrome here I'm not too sure how that's going to um, play on the eye but if you see I'm just going to swatch that on my finger um, it's an absolutely stunning shade and works much better on your eye than what you can see it swatches um, there on my arm so uh, we'll see how it turns out so i am all finished uh i uh just threw on my favorite um all-time red lipstick which is the mac chili and many have of you have would have seen this already um on my channel many many times and i paired it up with the um mac uh lip pencil and that was in auburn so 
I just thought that it would go really, really well with this look. So leave it to me, uh, you know, when you've got a bright colored palette that I can manage to tone it um, down. So let's run through this. The first uh, seven colors were the ones that I had to still use on my eyes. So the, that's the blush and the highlight, which I also managed to use on my eyes. So basically I went it in, oh, I, went, I went it in, I went in with the yellow to begin with, uh, which is what I blended the orange in with this red. So let's get rid of the yellow. Let's get rid of the red. Uh, we'll get rid of the highlight we'll get rid of the orange so they were all done so you can barely see it but that is um maybe i should re swatch it so this is yeah, it's come off so that is jelly wish um from enchanted luster cosmetics so that was what i put in this part of the lid you can see it more on this eye there so it just depends on the angle how it picks up now this metallic orange um, I had put on the center of the lid so I've blended the yellow into that one so that's those two done now this Cleona shadow which is just for the life of me not picking up it it actually looks like an orangey gold to me um, and then for you guys it's um, more of a maroon color i guess you could say or a burgundy uh, and that's what i put on the outer part of the eye so unfortunately this lighting is just not picking up on that real well but i think there's been a really nice blend between those three um on the lid now this catty pillar shade here that is what i have got on my lower lash line so um at the end of this i'm going to move the camera over into in the front of the natural um, light just to see whether or not it can pick up on them a little bit better and then the brown i've used to darken the outer v and uh, also bring down into the lower lash line so that's all um, those done so like i said i used the the color that i used on my cheeks i used to blend the yellow um, in with the um, the red and the highlight that i used um, on my cheeks i've also used in my inner corner and look at that on the brow so that's the iced lemon from um, enchanted luster cosmetics and i think between that and caddy pillar um, which is from looksy beauty uh, they are the two that really stood out for me but obviously trying to fit nine shades on your um, eyes makes it very very difficult for one particular shadow to shine uh, so i'm so looking forward to using this palette um, throughout the rest of the month and uh, trying to feature particular shadows um, of course you know i'm probably going to focus um, on the cleona shadow i'm going to focus on this one which is from clarity cosmetics it's called hot cheeto i remember I first saw that in one of andrea's videos and i think she was doing some swatching um, of some palettes that she um, built out of her singles and uh, i was like oh my god i have to have that uh, and then of course that's caddy pillar there from um, looksy beauty and then you've got your two en enchanted luster shades so jelly wish here and um iced lemon there uh, as far as the, the rest of them they're just mattes from um colourpop and uh, yeah they're nice uh, to lay down a starting color of course um but not something that you know really um sort of stands out and yeah i i don't know i'm happy very very happy to have the mattes there to help build the looks uh but i'm also i'm thinking i'm gonna try and do uh at least five more looks this month uh, where I can feature um, all those metallic or sort of multi-chrome duochrome shades so if I do I will make sure that I post them on Instagram because I'm filming this quite early um, in the month uh, many of you would know that um, I've got a fair bit going on at the moment and uh, yeah I just wanted to make sure I got all my collabs um, filmed early in the month just so that it frees me up for the rest of the month uh yeah for different things and i'm not going to go into it in this video i would definitely update you all um in another wellness wednesday video so uh, i might let my daggy hair down now and see i really really need to probably 
give it a wash so um but anyway so that's the final look um i really really do like it um like i said i'm going to quickly um pause and then uh, or stop stop the recording and uh, move this over into front of the um the window and see what it looks like like that Alrighty, so ring light off, just natural light. And you can see it does look definitely um, different, but here is a close-up of the look in natural light. Uh, you'll probably see um, some of the shades will look differently. Definitely you can see uh, the iced lemon in the corner and going into Jelly Wish. You can pick up a bit more on that Cleona shade. Unfortunately, Hot Cheeto is kind of just blended out with them and not standing out, but it is a stunning metallic shade. And yeah, you can see the caddy pillar on the lower lash line there. So um, like I said, I'm really, really happy with it. And this, I look a lot more paler um, in natural light. But uh, anyway, um, I have a new lamp, notice. My sister um, picked this up. She got it off... Um, I think it was off Marketplace from um, Facebook and uh, absolutely love it. She had one at her house and uh, it's probably a bit too close to the wall at, moment, at the moment, but it actually throws a really, really pr pretty pattern on the wall. Um, so anyway, useless bit of information there. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Uh, and thanks to Andrea once again for... Um, talking me into doing uh this project with her and uh all the descript like all the details about this particular project which is run by some lovely ladies on instagram all that information will be in the description box like usual so if anyone wants to join in on the project um you know free to do so uh, just like casey and nadia did um i'd love for you to share the looks um with me and with that uh yeah i'm gonna get going now guys See you all again soon. Bye.